Sony Entertainment is buying Square Enix for the 17th time in 2022, apparently. Look, I wanted to address this real quick. This is not going to be a lengthy video. This is just my two cents. I know this came from a quote from the head of one of the uh, Western studios for Square Enix that got sold. I know this is coming from a somewhat reputable source or whatever. Look, every three to four weeks, we get a headline and a bunch of YouTube videos about Square Enix getting sold or getting bought by Sony. And it always happens to fall in a slow news period. That is such a coincidence. That is such a coincidence when there's just a slow news period where there's nothing to talk about. Square Enix is getting sold to Sony. Talk amongst yourselves. Keep feed the algorithm. Keep my views and clicks going on my video. Look, when and if it happens, it will happen. I am done talking about it. At this point, I think it's a farce. If Sony buys Square Enix, great. It is going to take a boatload of money for Sony to buy Square Enix. Do they have the money? Yeah. But you got to think from a business standpoint, that money has to get allocated to other studios. They have Sony Santa Monica, all these other studios they have under the Sony umbrella, other small studios Sony's looking to pick up. This is not, and, and there are shareholders at uh, Square Enix. There are people that manage so many different branches of Square Enix. You're not just buying a studio that puts out one or two games a year. You're buying like another Sony. You're buying like another PlayStation. That's what Square Enix is. Square Enix is a juggernaut. Juggernaut. I don't have the numbers in front of me. I'm not going to pretend to be an insider like a lot of people do, but I will tell you this. They do a lot more and they crank out a lot more quality aside. What Some of the quality is questionable on some of that stuff. But quality aside, they crank out a ton more. Way more than you know about. Way more than I know about. Because they crank out stuff that's Japan only. They crank out stuff for different regions of the world that that's, that's that region only. A lot of their mobile stuff. A lot of their... Uh, stuff that they put out that's like online or online only not even like console based right they've got so much business and stuff outside of the video game sphere that you know about they do animation they do comics they put out they put out so much stuff they are a multimedia conglomerate so stop and ask yourself next time you're like wait there's nothing to talk about sony's buying square enix Talk amongst yourselves. Click my videos. <laughs> and I do get the irony that I'm making a video about this, but it's a cautionary tale, right? Be smart. If it comes out that Sony buys Square Enix, it will hit Sony really hard in the pocketbook unless there's some kind of like financial breakdown that it's paid over 10 years, like it's paid over a decade. Like it's paid to the, out to the shareholders over a decade for the company and they have to move executives into certain positions at Sony. I mean, there's so much red tape that would have to happen for this to become reality. But all somebody has to say is, I heard that this disgruntled uh, head of the studio that got sold by uh, Square Enix, they said that the Western division was a nightmare, that they're absolutely getting bought by Sony. Sony really wants to buy them. Is somebody wanting to sell you an article? Is somebody wanting you to click on their article and get that half a penny a click from Google? I mean, that's it, people. If it comes out that Sony's buying Square, fantastic. Fantastic. But I don't necessarily think that'll be a good thing because there's so... Like, you would have to take everybody at Sony and have them manage the different parts of Square Enix or have them working with the Square Enix managers to make this merger a reality. And it would take like a decade. Not smart. Not smart. Especially if you want them producing stuff. Not smart. So I am out. 
on the Sony buying Square Enix talk for the time being. Now, if it happens, if it comes out, if it comes out and it's official, it happens. Fantastic. We we can start speculating on what Sony's going to do with the properties. Uh, if Sony's first property is not a Chrono Trigger remake, we walk because Sony won't know what the hell to do with that brand. <laughs> But, but in all seriousness, like I, I don't think there's any truth to this rumor. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Guess what? I'm wrong all the time. Guess what? A lot of your favorite content creators are wrong all the time. And I was wrong today. I was wrong today. I went to Zaxby's and got a four-finger plate for lunch. I didn't like it. I should have went to Wendy's and got a number one Dave's Double. I See, I was wrong today. I'm wrong a lot. That's the key. I'm, I'm fine to be wrong about this. I don't think that Square Enix is getting sold to Sony. And if they do, I don't think it's anytime soon. If they come out tomorrow and say we sold to Sony, I'll be like, hey, I was wrong about that. Moving on. But until then, you know, I, I just don't think it's happening. I don't think there's any truth to it. I, I think it's just something that every now and then when news is slow, when the news cycle is slow, somebody kicks up some dirt. Oh, look at that. I heard from an anonymous source, an anonymous head of the studio or whatever, that Sony's totally interested in buying Square Enix. has been trying to do so for a while now. Well, yeah. I mean, that might be true. But do I think it's happening? No. No. And you don't either. It's just something to talk about. Look. Quality people. Quality content. Let's rock. Anyway. I got to get back to editing some videos and I am streaming tonight. So I will see you all then. Until then, y'all have a great night. Be safe. Be good to each other. And keep rocking. I will see you all in the next video. Take care. I want to say a quick thank you to my YouTube and Patreon members and supporters. If you would like to support the future creation of content on this channel, get some few extra perks and some art sent to your door every month, consider becoming a Patreon or YouTube member. Details and links are in the video description. I want to say a quick thank you to my YouTube and Patreon members and supporters. If you would like to support the future creation of content on this channel, get some few extra perks and some art sent to your door every month, consider becoming a Patreon or YouTube member. Details and links are in the video description.